Hey, what's up, guys? Uh, today we're going to talk about uh, the ready position as an infielder and basically all the pre pitch movements you're going to make to get ready for that pitch. This is one of the most important things as an infielder is to be ready and be in a good position to move, especially when you get older, because balls are going to be starting to get hit harder and harder at you, and it's going to be a split second difference between whether you get there and whether you don't. So it's really important to do this every single pitch to stay mentally in the game and ready on every single pitch because you never know when the ball is going to be hit to you. So we'll look at Evan Longoria today. Uh, basically, every fielder in the major leagues is going to get ready pretty much the same way. There's a little bit of style to it at the beginning, but when the ball's crossing the heading zone, it's going to be pretty much similar across the board. So the big thing to do is, before we get into anything, is... You want to get into sync with your pitcher so that you know how fast or slow his windup is so that you can get ready on time. And, and the most important thing is when the ball is crossing the hitting zone, you want to be landing on the balls of your feet ready to move. Now, if you want to, most guys will walk into that, a left, right, and then a hop, or maybe a right, left, and a hop. It doesn't really matter. The important thing is, is most guys will have a little hop right before the ball is crossing the hitting zone. That way, once the ball is going to be struck, they've just come down on the balls of their feet and they're ready to move. And we'll show a couple examples of that on here. So let's watch it first and then we'll go over the steps. Okay, so let's go over them. First thing is, you want to be athletic and your knees flex. It's the same in any sport. You want to be athletic. You want to be able to move. Most balls hit at you or hit to you, um, especially when you get older, but at any age. Most balls aren't going to be hit right at you. You're going to have to move either a step to your right or left. Or If you're a middle infielder, you're going to have to run all over the place. You have to cover a lot of range. So it's important to be in a good athletic position so you can move quickly. The second thing is when you come down on your hop, so... Basically, what you're going to do is you can go left, right, hop, or right, left, hop. It doesn't really matter. But as the ball's crossing the hitting zone or about to get there, you're going to do a little hop, as you can see here. And that's just to get in the balls of your feet. It's almost like a, a tennis player will do the same thing. If you watch him, when the ball is being served to him, he's going to do a little hop just to be on the balls of his feet, ready to move. You're going to land as the ball is crossing the hitting zone and about to be struck. <laughs> so that you're ready to go. And you can see here, knees flexed, good athletic position, like he's playing defense in basketball. He could be playing any sport, tennis, doesn't matter. Ready to move. The next thing is, you wanna have your a good glove positioning. So you want your thumbs up. And if you watch major league guys, guys will have thumb up, thumb up. Now this is a little bit different than kids are taught when they're younger. A lot of younger kids will be taught to have their glove out in front. The reason why older players are taught to have their thumbs up is because that's basically in a running position. If you're going to run, you're going to run with your thumbs up. And most balls aren't going to be hit right at you. You're going to have to move one way or the other, like I said earlier, especially if you're a middle infielder. So you want your thumbs up so that you can move. If you have your glove out in front of you in a fielding position, now the ball's hit and you have to move anywhere. Well, the first thing you have to do is bring your glove back to the thumbs up position and then start to run and that just takes time. It might work when you're younger because balls aren't hit really hard but when you're older balls are hit really hard and you have to be as efficient as possible so you want to have your glove in a good glove position both hands thumb up ready to move either way. Okay the next thing is to have your feet square and as you can see here his feet are square to home plate. A lot of times if Guys that don't hop, that just walk into it, sometimes they'll walk and their left foot will be behind their right foot or their right foot will be behind their left foot and they're not square. So when a ball's hit, they might be better going one direction than the other. So if their left foot is behind their right foot, they might be really good at, say, going to their glove side, but they're not very good at going to their backhand side or vice versa. And it's usually because their feet aren't square, they're not in a good equal position to go either way. And as an infielder, 
you got to go everywhere. You got to go forwards, backwards, left, right. You got to do it all the same. And having your feet square are going to help you go each direction equally as well. And then the last thing is just glove awareness, having a quiet glove. We kind of went over it already. You want to have that glove in a good position, but you want to have a quiet, you want to know where it is at all times. Be aware of where your glove is and what it's doing, and it's going to help you be quicker. So uh, those are the four things. Let's get into um, one more quick video. And here really quickly is the Boston Red Sox playing a spring training game, and you can watch the middle infielders here. And it's a little far away, but you can still tell as they all, you can see their little hop here if you watch them together. As the ball's about to cross the hitting zone, they go into a hop. It's tough to see their gloves, but their gloves are in that good running position, and their thumbs up. They don't have their gloves on the ground. They don't have their gloves out in front or by their side. They're always right around the hip in the thumbs up position, ready to move. And you can see the hop. They're both the same exact time. They're both going into their hop, both breaking for the ball. So give that a shot. It's going to make you a little bit quicker. You're going to get to more balls easier than you thought you ever could. So give it a shot. Let me know how it works. Thanks, guys.